Chicago, man. Can't wait to do it again. All right, so I'm not sure what team everybody's going with here, but we've got Slotham is coming up with the Nemesis here again. We've seen that before. But Ace has no Thor on the team this time. Looking for a counter pick here, possibly the Hawkeye. Kind of keep him out, but that's not going to do any. It's not going to do a good job here. Nemesis is in. Oh my goodness! And the reset is just jump back neutral H. Hawkeye try to tech forward. Slotham definitely on top of that. All right, why is Slotham making Nemesis look like a good character, bro? Oh, with the jump neutral H with the assist call on top of it. Yo, you think you think Slotham out here giving lessons? Yeah, I need some marble lessons, bro. Oh, dropped out though. Yeah, Aces with the first sign of life here. Not used to seeing him play Taskmaster. It's a little different, but you know, it's ratio. You're gonna see some weird things in there. Task is doing work off the up arrows. Gets to confirm as well. We have an X Factor taking care of the Modok. Modok can get away. I think that's a smart decision. Oh, super jump into the super here for Aces. Aces definitely knows the Taskmaster tech. If you super jump from the down arrow super, you actually get a higher OTG. So that way you're able to DAC into things like Arthur, Doom, whatever you want. If you do it from regular jump height, you won't be able to burn those. Oh, comes down with the jump H. That might have been jump S. I only hit once. Oh, not quite enough. The assist call right there. If you didn't call it, you had the extra meter. Oh, no. But he didn't dash back far enough, and Slotham did dash forward. Catches him with the crouch medium. The advantages of having that X-Factor speed and the double jump in the throw. Catches Aces trying to get away. That's rough when you play a slow mobility character like Arthur. You have to eat those incoming mix-ups. There's nothing really you can do about it. All right, but not enough to kill Aces. Hits him with the crouch medium, doesn't convert it. That could have been the game winner itself. It looks like Slotham's just waiting out the armor right here. I think that's a smart decision. Okay, now genius level stuff from Aces. Try to bait that super out, knowing he can get back to the ground. But now Slotham, hard driving again. Oh, oh so close. A little bit of more chip here. Slotham could take it. Ooh, projectiles. Slotham almost. Oh, oh there that it is, is. Beam. Yeah, that's all it needed. Very close battle in game one. Starting off top eight here, and it's already hype. Ace is going to go back to door. That's the one thing you see a lot in ratio tournament. You'll see people wanting to try out their their side side team. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> Like, let me try out my second ratio team. Let me see if this is up to snuff. But, you know, I wanted to see the Thor. The Thor Iron Man combo is pretty godlike. You know, Unibeam does a lot for Thor. It allows crazy mix ups, the tri dash lows, lights, high, whatever you want. It gives Thor the amount of time you need because the beam is so long. And Unibeam works out really good for Dormammu as well in case he loses Thor. So, the only problem is, is Aces going to regret giving up that first game trying to play around? We've seen that a few times today where, uh, you know, we played some different teams and it came down to that last game. And on top of this, it just seems like, oh my goodness, the air-to-air -air button by Aces. He's looking for that air command. Throw. Right now, Slotham's doing a good job of just kind of, you know, zoning a little bit. But, oh, not like that. You got to put into some stagger after that S. Wow, what a confirm here by Slotham with the MODOK getting in on Thor. Building all kinds of meter. We're going to get a snap here. We're taking care of this assist. That allows this team to function the way it does. I like the decision making here by Slotham. It is Iron Man, but the Unibeam is strong. Three hard tag. Yep, we're in there. Thor's back in. Punishes with the air command throw. Ace is on top of it. Slotham's gonna lose Modok now. Yeah, strong part of his team provides him that quick horizontal assist. Obviously, Drones is a good horizontal assist as well, but not quite as fast, especially against a team like this where he get blown up very easily. Yeah, you had to pull Sentinel in right now. I mean, he's the only one who can fight against Gomamu. Nemesis is not going to fight that matchup correctly. Oh, 
Able to get away from the drone super. Comes down with the punish. Oh, teabag into a, into a whiff level three. I don't think that was a teabag. I think yeah, that was a missed input. Yeah, yeah, but still able to punish here. No problem after the throw. Gonna come down to Nemesis. X Factor running out. Oh my goodness, the command throw. After that huge whiff there, whiffed on purpose to get that command throw. I was sitting there blocking too. I would have got thrown for sure. But now we're talking about Nemesis going up against uh, Thor and Iron Man. He's gonna have to go for some kind of reset here. Even with this, he can't kill. Oh. He missed the command throw right there. You do that for the hit stun deterioration off the of stand M, just so they pop up depending on which way they tech and you go for the air command throw. Try to push block the Thor super and push block one too many times, fell into the Iron Man beam super. Would have died from chip anyway, but still. All right, Ace is able to tie it up. Like we said, Ace's return definitely has made multiple top eights. Uh, and has been top two, top three of every ratio tournament so far. Using this Thor, uh, Thor and Dormammu. Let's call it Dormammu. I like that. Dormammu? That's clean. Yes. I said something good? Yeah, you did. Oh, man. Are oh, we swinging now? Oh, oh I had the right idea. Yeah, yeah. He had the right read just slightly early. We've seen what kind of havoc Nemesis can wreak here. Good on Aces to get rid of it. I would say, if anything, so far today, Sloth and Michelle Modoc might be his weakest character. We've seen him do a lot of work with Sentinel and Nemesis. And his Modoc's still good. He's yeah. still getting a lot of mileage out of the character. Oh, an unfortunate drop here. Gonna get punished. Follow up here. Two meters built might not be enough to take care of Dorm. Drop the combo anyway. Locks him down though. Got a claim. We got blocks. Yes, we do. Great defensive decision there. Right, is he going to be able to get a punish? Yes, he does. He's got an X Factor if he wants to use it. But he's also got three meters now, so no Tiger Knee though. I think Smodok can finish this off. It's going to be close. Not enough intelligence. Yeah, but he's going to be able to get one more super afterwards. Yes, spends three meters. Oh, I like to analyze Q for the lockdown and just box dashing in. Gets the light and the confirm. It's a dead dorm. And it's going to be all down to Iron Man here. Okay, throw is a good start off of the slot and drop. All up to the characters with the tech. Now, which robot is better? Gonna go right through Invincibility. X Factor last oh. hit, a repulsor hits. Yeah, still active when Slotham X Factor try to punish there. That was a godsend for Aces because Slotham was gonna get out of the corner no matter what. Invincibility all the way through the Pyramid Super. You know that's how that works, but just X the tad early. Last hit. And that what looked like it was going to be a Slotham game. Aces return snatches it at the last second there. Takes the lead in this set. One more game. Going to be in winner's finals. All right. Now, obviously, Aces is going to have to stick with the team. But is Slotham going to make the switch here? Yes. Switches to Nemesis Storm Nova. OK. So Nova part of Slotham's main team, of course. Putting them on an anchor position this time. I mean, you could definitely say Nova is a nutty level three anchor. When you have oh, meter, without a doubt, it can get kind of crazy if you let it happen. You know, human rocket and javelin level three, it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, we see Among Shadows play Nova on anchor pretty regularly. Uh, uh, Tyson did too. Yeah. The Tyson, yeah, yeah. Tyson played Tyson it that did, way. Yeah, that was his I've original seen, yeah. yeah. Tyson was the original Nova anchor. He had five meter X factor. He would just let them all rip, hoping you would try to advance in the neutral, and he would catch people with it. Oh, what was your assist? What was what was the assist that Aces was playing? Does anybody remember? Uh, I want to say Dark Hole. It was Dark Hole and Unibeam, yes. right? Yes, Unibeam for sure. Yeah, because obviously he's picking. He's you know picking the same team. Obviously, got to stick with the same team here. That's how you know he's in the match. He's so into it right now, can't even remember. 
All right, Sofim actually going with the overhead Nova assist. I like that. You can definitely get some tricky stuff there. Oh, oh the big S, big launcher here. Steps back for the super so you can hit all three. I hate it when Nemesis rocket misses. You know, the middle rocket misses sometimes. It can happen sometimes. It's very weird. That's why a lot of the times Nemesis will dash back to adjust for it just in case. It's so annoying. It's just, why Why are you, why did you go over that way? I don't know, Capcom was like, he's polished, send him out. Yeah. All right, Thor with Pixel health here. Ace is choosing to leave him out here. Okay. DHC out safely, good for the stocking player. Chase Storm down, it's the right decision, reset neutral. Good analysis of the situation from Aces there, knowing that Slotham didn't have any meter to punish either, so. Yeah, Hailstorm would have blew it up right away. Oh my goodness, the instant overhead S. Still not enough damage though, but taking the damage where he can, leaving himself with zero meter again. We'll see if he regrets that decision. I mean, Slotham's in a lead. You gotta cash out when you can. You're trying to force the X factor right now and you're not gonna get a combo. Oh, teleports a little bit off time there. Wasn't able to convert. Ooh, Storm's taking tons of chip. Hard tag gets punished. Aces is on top of it, but can't quite confirm. Oh, and the tentacles followed by the whirlwind assist. You see the delay on that assist call? Beautiful mark. All right, all up to Thor Anchor here. We haven't seen a lot of Thor Anchor action yet. I've never seen it in my life. Oh, and we're never gonna get to see it. Eats the jump S from Slotham. Now right here is where you're thinking. It's going 2-2. That first game that Aces played the different team, this could be the deciding factor on that. Yeah, like you said, you know, definitely like we talked about multiple times, messing around with that Taskmaster earlier. It could definitely cost them. Slotham unable to switch teams now at this point. Aces can make a change here. The thing is, Nova didn't really even come into play. For Slotham, it was it was really just Nemesis. Yeah, Nemesis got the bulk of that work. Uh, never got, you know, he just did everything he needed yeah. to do, played it correctly. I mean, Sentinel, Sentinel went to go sit on the bench for no reason. So put me in the game, coach. No, Nemesis. You see the Unibeam here. I mean, last time uh, Slotham did blow him up with the happy birthday early on. That's what happened, and that's how that game got out of hand so fast. Yeah, just raw launcher. Nemesis has such a good launcher. If you block it on the outside, it's really hard to punish. If you block it on the inside, very easy to punish. I didn't know Spaghetti's can punish. Oh, my goodness. All the missiles right there, taking all the chip you can. Oh, but he got caught swinging. Not enough. Thor's going to be on pixel health here. We're going to probably see a hard tag DAC out instead, actually. Oh, chaotic flame DAC this time around. Storm is definitely swinging. All right, Ace is taking it slow and careful here. He knows there's a lot of, oh, there's a lot riding on this. No amount of going down. This is going to be really rough for Thor, who's going to come out with no help. You gotta love it. There's so much hit stun on oh, that. Oh, but huge oh, shot out. there! Big misstep. Ace is still bleeding though with the Dormammu. Oh, my tornado not doing anything. Good X Factor though to save himself. X Factor one though. He's not gonna get. I don't. Think, I don't even know if Thor gains speed. Eh, he probably does a little bit. He's an air movement character. But on top of that, you're gaining back like 250k health just off the X Factor. Kind of worth it for the big body character in Thor. Uh, MRI says he doesn't. Yeah, Hulk also does not gain speed in X Factor. Know that. Oh, the happy birthday! But Thor fell out. We're gonna try and take care of Iron Man here. Oh, and that just kind of whiffed right through Storm. Didn't make a difference at all. I mean, she controls lightning. I can see that. Great throw by Slotham right here, but we have no meter, but it should be enough to take care of Thor here. Yeah, he'll be able to build a meter, no problem. And this is Slotham's main character, so this is going to be trouble here. Finally coming into play is Nova. That jab went dash under. Jab so fast. We might be seeing Slotham in the Winter's Finals here. One more character to go. Slotham still with his full team. Most of the health. Oh, the flight got beat right out of it with the Crouching H. Yeah, Ace is not able to make that Iron Man comeback happen. Slotham is going to Winter's Finals. 
Mega Man's not as good as Zero, right? Yeah, I agree with that. Maybe 5.5. Five. 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 Alright, Terminator playing that arc himself, but with Hagar on points like a Zero. We'll see which one pays off. Looks like the Hagar's paying off here. I mean, I definitely like it. You know, Larry is good against Zero, especially in uh, mix-up situations. You can Larry it out if you choose to stop correctly. All right, looks like Zero not playing a factor at all in this first game. That's what we like to see. It's unbiased. Oh, I see uh, oh, it the pipe. I see the question in the chat. Why is Archer only two points? Archer is obviously a pretty decent character. Oh, goes for the throw reset, but whiffs. A little too early there. Doesn't matter though. Able to roll back out. Get the lows. Yeah, so Arthur, obviously, fairly good character. Definitely better than most, if not all, the other two point characters, right? But we don't see a lot of Arthur in our tournaments. So to encourage more Arthur to play, we made him two points. It's not always about what character is the best. So, oh no. He got both. Sometimes it's just about representation of the character. Absolutely. And Arthur's kind of hard to play. Let's be real here. I mean, you got to have some time with him to at least do decent damage. Swig it out. Just kind of slow down these X factors right now. Looking for the chip here. Just trying to make sure the armor goes away. I mean, I know Terminator is looking for it. There's an OG OTG opportunity afterwards. All right, so Little Terminator definitely in better position here with the Hagar point and Akuma. Oh my goodness, the big whip DP. Great punish from Terminator. Hagar winning the day. Yo, big shots to Jabril coming through. Big shots to Vitas for the gifts up, making Jabril so impossible. Good buster right there by Flocker. He's very aware Hagar's trying to get in, wants to put zero in the corner, not and allow it to happen. Oh. Good, good call on the Lariat. Oh, another Lariat. He said X Factor this time. So you don't know how to play any of these other characters, bro. Oh, but chooses not to finish the combo. Doesn't matter though. The hard attack gets punished by the level one super. Yeah, snap is a smart thing. You don't want to leave zero on the backside for Flocker. It is his strongest character, and he can't come back with him just by himself with X Factor. But it's got to hurt your feelings a little bit to pop that X Factor against Zero to not get the kill, right? And then you don't get the kill against Arthur either. And you lose Hagar on top of it, man. That's rough stuff here. Man. I know, it's your favorite character. I hate Zero, bro. But I definitely think Zero is fair at six points in this format. Obviously, uh, you know, Flocker is the only Zero in top eight. Was the only Zero in top 16. So. Hey, at least there's no Virgil. Oh my goodness. Blogger with the age and Liberal Terminator had the button waiting at the bottom, realizing that was punishable. So great awareness, but couldn't finish up at first. How about half health here? Tatsu goes right through it all, but a little too far. Putting down some chip here. Tron has got a lot of help. 1.2 million. And able to drill claw right out of there. Well, not drill claw, but. It's the same thing. Same. But you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, absolutely. But unfortunately, Flocker could not finish up his combos there. Oh, that DP. Oh, it would have hit, but he DACs out. Yeah. Genius level stuff here for Flocker. Kind of sucks that King Servops doesn't come back out if you actually DAC too soon. Oh, level Terminator just walks right into a butt, but Flocker not able to confirm. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have Arthur dive battles. Arthur versus Arthur. Who has got the better one? Look at both of the armors. They're about to go out. I almost thought at one point both the armors were going to go out at the same time. They're so close. That would have been crazy. Our armor does go out right here, though, but Liberal Terminator definitely did the right thing, putting himself in good position to avoid being punished out of that. And Flocker kind of did the right thing as well, staying full screen against Arthur, putting out that blue fire. One of them's naked, one of them like bare bones naked. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and time is running out, and it looks like Terminator is actually way ahead here in health. Should be nothing Flocker could do here, even with this chip. Just too late, man. Player one wins. And this is why zero is fair. Zero is six points. If you play zero or or Morgan or Phoenix, you can't. You kind of get stuck with the you know the much lower tier characters. Yeah, you, you have see, to play these characters. Yeah, and you see, without the assist, they're not as dangerous. Like Morgan, without without missiles or Strider, definitely not. It's as not dangerous. as bad. It's, it's not, not as bad. As long as your character can stay in the air, right? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you're playing a game with superheroes and mutants who can fly and stuff like that. Yeah. Because, like you like you're saying, you play zero with what somersault assist. It's only good in the corner. Oh, and the air throw to start the match off. X Factor again. Is he going to be able to get the combo this time for the kill? That's why we X Factor. He wants to make sure all the meter possible. Zero gone almost equals win. Yeah, don't take any risks here. I don't know what side that hit. That was so good. Knows that Tron oh, can't even get out. The Hoodlum launcher reset again. Yeah, Keep watching your vids. Right, there is nothing Flocker can do in that situation with Tron. Even with neutral tech, it doesn't matter. All right, goes for the level three here. He's going to have to X-Factor. Oh, he already popped the X-Factor, so he's got no chance of making anything out of that. Oh, and Flocker gets up there just to get air thrown. God, level Terminator did not not uh, adjust for the small body. You're trying to bait the air throw right there. You've seen it? Oh, that's not how that works. A little bit of uh, character unfamiliarity there hurting Clocker, but it's all right. Just putting the buttons out there, not afraid. Look for the DHC out. You can save Hagar here. No, invincible DP. Oh my goodness, is Clocker going to make a Arthur comeback? Arthur reverse OCD. He said, I am not a zero player. I'm an Arthur player, bro. A lot of damage. Yeah, doesn't Arthur take more damage when he's not powered up in the suit? I think so. Oh, if he goes completely naked? Yeah. Oh, no. It doesn't matter, though. Flocker not going to make that Arthur comeback. A little too strong here. Liberal Terminator is going to go on to winner's finals. Face off against Slotham later. Wonderland. Shout out to the best kills of gear player TNS ever seen. Oh, what? Hey, felt like the dive kick was coming. That was a good challenge button. Yeah, I respect it. Stand there acting like your controller not plugged in yeah. and just smack him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Captain Troy is just going in, just trying to chase down this Tron right now. And the punish got both of them. Storm does a bunch of damage, and especially with the follow up there. Oh, Tron's a pixel and then gets chipped out. Meaty on the air to air, but the falling down light by Captain Troy just gets the job done. We're going to get an X Factor. We have to take back this momentum in the game. Captain Troy was doing so much work with the Wolverine. Truancy made the right decision call. Right there. Great button, though, to go up after the teleport by Troy. Team Hyper Super. Strange goes after, but we got blocks by Troy. Great awareness. But just like that, Truancy with the anti-air light. Oh, got them both. This is looking good for Truancy. Can you finish, though? Is it enough? And it is. Truancy answering back with a very strong showing after that one. Right, he said he just needs to fix his buttons, bro. He got this. <laughs> Answers with the jump S. Catches Wolverine. Like I was saying earlier, I believe this team can do massive damage. Tron can already do a lot on her own, especially with assist. But we're going to snap in, bring in the Oh, Atsu. man, that is so cheap there. Just bash under, and you know the arm's head on both sides. Oh, we'll stop fire. Not enough. Oh, my goodness. Overhead from Ryu. So deceptive, man. You know, you dash forward, you expect the low, but the overhead not in block stun, so hard to block. Yeah, that Team Super, though, did whack damage there. Well, now we got pushed back, so. 
Needy, Gustav Fire teleport and gets the confirm. Chun is on it. Alright, should be able to kill here with the follow-up pillar into Chaotic Flame. Or not. I like that. Just in case it's not enough, oh, put an X-Factor. But the thing is, it would have been enough with the Chaotic Flame there with Dormammu. Yeah, because you get the pillar going into a little bit extra damage. Exactly. Oh, uh, this is unfortunate. Now you're going to possibly lose Strange here. TAC block. Oh, my goodness, he had. I guess, and it worked out. Uh, slight, slight miscalculation from Truancy. Cost him this game, possibly. Oh, you can't get that drill call to dive kick so easily on Tron, unfortunately. Her weird body. If it's the counter hit dive kick. We have the X Factor. Make sure you take care of your mama here. Just Tron left. Oh. Okay. Captain Troy wasn't able to do anything with it. Once again with the drop on the dive kick there. Storm is dead. Wolverine. Oh, it's a 50 50. Cross up. Oh. oh, the snapback to set him back there. And of course, meets him air to air. Still not able to convert, though. Comes down with the up. Oh, my goodness. Tron able to close it out. How fortunate for Truancy. Able to take the lead here. That was amazing. Dashback falling on age, knowing Wolverine was going to advance. Yeah, Captain Troy definitely needs an answer for how to combo Tron, though. Drill Claw on the dive kick, unless you're in the corner, isn't going to work very consistently. Sometimes you just have to Drill Claw in the super and cut your combo short against Tron, which kind of hurts because Tron already has the second most health in the game at 1.2. Oh, King Surfot did not connect here. Dive kick does hit. Oh, got him both. Called the assist defensively. And now, Truancy is taking care of him. Oh, my goodness. Ryu almost dead here. Ryu not the problem, though. Storm. Storm almost down here. Great X Factor. Oh, but a huge missed input there. Oh, very unforgiving. Letting your character live here. Yeah, a lot Captain of damage. Tor definitely taking advantage. Truancy will be missing. Oh, too many lows. Truancy trying to up back out of there. That might not be enough, though. No, that's definitely going to be enough. Cool. Yeah, in the corner there, Ryu doesn't push you back, so you eat every bit of that damage. Oh, my goodness, the buttons on the insist Oh, he could have just supered. He would have been within chip range. Oh, the overhead slapping him right across the top. And with three meters, no, no. Ryu's going to be too far, though, so he still has a chance. Wow. Captain Troy bringing it back. Truancy had that one. They were definitely playing hot potato with that game right there. But all that pressure on you, though, it's hard not to drop combos sometimes. All right, drill call in the dive kick does work in the corner, though. Oh, and the same mix-up we saw from game one working out again. Oh, pops out. Too much hits done on the scaling, but just gets the combo back with the crouching lows. Yeah, yeah, Captain Troy back on the aggression here. Truancy having some trouble with conversions here. They look like they're max distance. Oh, never mind. No problems with conversions here. Happy birthday. Oh, no. Didn't get the pillar out. Went for a team super there. That's Huge rough. Mistake. Yeah. He really wanted to kill Wolverine in that sequence, and now Wolverine's alive. Still a threat to your team. Oh, another big miscalculation here from Truancy. It's hurting him a lot. He's playing the neutral fine, but he's just there's just some mistakes here and there with the wrong supers. I hope with the lows again, Tatsu clears up. Great combo attempt for Troy. Gonna get the kill. Troy definitely is realizing now Truancy wants to up back quite often. Taking advantage of that. Oh, Truancy has a chance here, has X Factor. Can you believe that? There's so much hit stun on that falling down S that you can confirm right after jumping back. All right, two more characters to go and pushes them back into the fire carpet. No miscalculation this time. That was genius level stuff from Truancy. Oh, had it. If he can get back far enough here, could possibly put some chip down. Should consider it. Oh, you gonna... just got to watch out for the bait of the super from you. That's it. Ryu does also have an invincible super. And a beam super, but just the raw S. Truancy has raw S with Dr. Doom. Level three. 
I can't believe that's what won the game. Captain Troy was going for the overhead. He was right on the start up of it. Oh my goodness. Truancy almost giving that away. Able to make it all the way back with Dormammu. Lone Wonderland. There can be only one winner. It's do or die. Fight! All right, not a matchup we see very often, but one we are excited to watch. Salute, Porky J. Schumer versus Jill. That was a great attempt by Corky there off the spiral arrow. Going in, has the bombs on, but can't get anything off of it. We're just trading off assistant characters here. Okay, but here we go with the Team Super Tech, and actually hits. He's got both. He has a uh, Raccoon, too. Oh, the Raccoon drops out, goes for the PAC attempt, able to break it. Oh, once again, this time Shuma winning the day here. Almost gets the cross under with the uh, Spitfire. Yeah, just not able to convert. Oh, but able to go right over the top. At this point, though, Corky J's newest character is Dante right now. Obviously, we've seen Corky J play Joe, Iron Man, Sentinel, so, uh, but Dante is the new addition to the team. So you definitely want to leave Dante in the back and try to kill Iron Man if you can. Yeah, very much helps to have a jam session. Oh, back and there. the Jack. eyes pop, able to get a second chaotic flame. So we've definitely known his stuff. More damage. That's definitely a thing. That's not a dot All right, so we've taken that first game. After a very close, like, initial opening, you know, between both of these characters, so we just kind of ran Kofi J over after Jill died. Corky J doesn't have the same tools as Salute does with those one-touch kills like Shuma can do. Probably better DLC buy, right? Got a claim. Oh, able to switch sides. Trap activates, but does not hit Jill, and Corky J is able to get a hit confirmed here. Goes for another TAC. Does not work out again. That's the second TAC to set in a row. Oh my goodness, the fake cross up and come back falling down S. Yeah, on the same side there with the try dash. Chooses not to use the meter to kill though. Funky J giving up the Dante here. Has all the meter enough to kill Dante. Level three. Hard tag back to Shuma. Wants to get the mix up, but Corky J's out cleanly. Yeah, so we definitely whipping on the incoming there. Had the X Factor salute, press something. I think that's the right decision. And he knew that Raccoon was in there as well, so he didn't want to lose both characters, but still ends up losing Shuma possibly. I thought if Corky J can get these infinites down with Iron Man. Has to be harder on Shuma. The, the body, you know, it has to be a different type of an adjustment. Yeah, even if it even if it isn't harder, mentally it has to be harder, right? Like you gotta be thinking about like what if it is different? Yeah, you're like, oh shit, it's Shuma, but Corky got him. Yeah, Corky had no problem with that at all. Mad Hopper, Chaotic Flame, gonna punish the ace. Iron Avenger from full screen, it confirms. He's gonna be able to pick this up to great reversal super here from Corky J. Doesn't even need to pop the X Factor to get the kill here. Gotta love it for meter build. Kept it meterless after the level three. It's so good for your team. Cross up, Unibeam, X Factor, Corky J. This might be the most exciting match of our top eight so far. Both players definitely showing off their character knowledge here, their expertise with these uh, you know, more unique characters. I, I would dare not call them low tier in their hands. You know? But I, I just, I know that's, I know that's just her combo, but it just feels like a flex combo. You know what I mean? Bro, you have to do pretty much the teleport cancel every time off the somersault. 
right, TAC is working out once again for Corky J after a couple of unsuccessful ones at the beginning of the set. I mean, if you can do it on Shuma, you could definitely do it on Raccoon, and Corky J is showing that. Really? I think it'd be harder on Raccoon. I wouldn't know. I don't know. Do <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> All right, well, definitely Raccoon wasn't a problem there. Corky J can do an infinite on anyone at this point. All right, finishes the combo here. Goes for the setup again. Gonna be doing a lot of side switching. Yeah, Dante Super has to be back there. It definitely lasts a lot longer, so you get another layer of the mix-up going with Jill there. So it definitely works out. Jam session to try and kill. Somersault for the chip on the way down. Corky J in control. Oh, the teleport falling down S. Great X factor there for Corky J to be able to finish it out. And with the Dante Super, this should finish. Corky J taking the lead here. Oh my goodness, the tremble is so deceptive, especially when you're right up there and it falls so fast. Yeah, and Corky J unfortunately just had to sit there and hold that because he knows with the eyes on him that it could pop. And when it does pop, he's gonna be, you know, he's gonna be hurting. So he had to sit there and take the, take the offense from Salute. But right now, Salute's in the driver's seat. Pressure just falling down off the flame carpet right there and just catches with the low. Taking care of Dante here. And we've seen that. You know, when Corky loses Jill first, it's definitely uh, a much easier battle for Salida. So he took that first game of the set very easily. All up to Iron Man. And that's one thing you don't want to hear going into your last character. <laughs> Iron Man does have X Factor 3 and 3 meters, though. Could make a comeback, but Salute may not let it happen. You know, he's going to take that to the next game. There's no rollover X Factor in this game. Oh, Iron Avenger, let him live, and it connects. Oh, Salute was pushing a button there, or either that or he got caught back dashing. Either way, he's going to be able to pick up here. He's going to have to pop X on the super. Yeah, out of doubt here. Better to pop the X factor now before the meter, so that way you only have to spend one. Well, I had to get cross under a repulsor, but you can't quite get to the other side. All right, is he safe? Yes, he is. He's able to land. No landing recovery, of course. <laughs> I like it. You got the Mad Hopper there. You don't want to approach. We're just going to fire our missiles. Oh, cross up S gets the job done. We're tied up going into a game five. Yeah, and the most possible exciting match of top eight. I wouldn't want anything less than five games, you know? Good air throw there by Salute. Let's see if he can kill off throw. I definitely think he can. He's shown before he can just about kill off every touch. Oh yeah, with Dormammu, you can definitely do it. The eyes pop. Oh, but didn't build another meter, unfortunately. Quite often when we see Salute able to kill off throw, uh, he had already built up a little bit of meter during the neutral, but this time he got the hit right away. Wasn't able to kill up that third meter. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Corky J gets Jill out, Iron Man in the game, so still a chance for this. Stand M almost gets hit, but just like that, Corky J gets the dash forward light and gets a confirm, but a drop. Yeah, Corky J's confirms are definitely on point, but unfortunately his combo was not. Team Hyper Super. Oh, wow, it dropped again, and he tried to hit with the super of his own. Tech 4. Oh, my goodness, the pressure. Look at it. Challenging with the crouching lights. Very brave. He's seeing in the Jill here. This is definitely the better position, so you can use that jam session assist to kind of lock him down, and of course, he gets this fix up here. Just with the overhead, good blocks by Salute. Yeah, great defense by Salute there. Basically saved the game with that defense. Got to find out if this is Dante or Dan. Level three, helm break from the top. Canceled it too early. It's too close to the ground. Can't get the full box out. And it looks like Salute is going to be able to take this. An excellent showing from both players here. Poor Dan. 
Yeah, I mean, this is why I love ratio tournaments. Both of these guys definitely brought it on with their DLC character. I mean, you know, the mobility is going to help. Also, allow Nemesis to combo off air throw. Yeah, Nemesis has uh, definitely Nemesis definitely gave Aces some trouble in the winner side of the bracket. That's uh, Slothin was using Nemesis to eliminate uh, or send Aces to losers. So. And see, he's trying to follow suit here. Tiger Knee Rocket skin a lot of mileage right here. Off the arrows in the confirm. True and see, did a great job transitioning from zoning into the offense here. Oh, and the throw reset attempt, but of course, Thor has that air dash. Aces is ready. Yeah, it's really almost impossible to, to throw reset these air dash characters like that with Nemesis. Chase down after the arrows. Hop back into the neutral. Oh my goodness. The decision making by Truancy did not hesitate on the dash up command throw. Yeah, Ace is still traumatized from the last time he had to play Nemesis. Definitely like it. The tech chase right there and then you mash H again. But Ace has got the combo back. Should be able to take care of Nemesis. Has enough meter here. Oh, are you sure? Okay, he's able yeah, to chip nice. out at least. I mean, after that instance, you're always going to tech, so it's going to pop now. Easy chip. Oh, Aces unfortunately gets caught by the uh, projectile counter there from Taskmaster. Uh, from <laughs> that was big brain thinking for sure. Said up to Iron Man again. This is pretty rough. Uzi is in a great position, gets to confirm, has an X Factor, level three, gonna take care of the first game. True and see, definitely a, uh, a pleasant surprise in the ratio tournament so far. Has been putting on quite a show. Switching back between the two teams, this time playing the Nemesis, really showing off here. I like it, being aggressive, go, oh my goodness, canceled the noodles. Yeah, Aces try to whiff punish there, but a little too late. Okay, so you saw Truancy actually go for a, uh, a hit reset there instead of a throw reset. Changing it up, you know, yeah. he's trying to catch the air dash. Oh, once again, Aces is frame trapped, trying to whiff punish. I definitely like the adjustments, but like you said about Truancy. Oh, Went no. for the one that time, like you said, changed it up. Has the right idea, though. Ace has definitely needed this here if he wants to stay in the game. Oh no, this light loser your drop. Oh, this time Truancy comes through with the armor from Nemesis. It feels like it's the one time you see it and it actually works. Very rarely. Nemesis definitely has some of the worst armor moves in the game. Oh, Aegis counter does not get it. We got a throw by Aces. X Factor the follow up. Wants to take care of the task here. Iron Avenger should do it. Yeah, Iron Man, three, Iron Man and X Factor 3, definitely a threat. I mean, most characters are, but Iron Man gets multiplied in his, you know, damage and speed abilities. Like, he, it makes him a viable anchor. He should be that speed all the time. <laughs> yeah, then he'd be, uh, he wouldn't even be top three still. I mean, bro, <laughs> he has rockets on his feet. <laughs> Got the fly on fly combo with the falling down H. Gets to confirm here. Repulsor on incoming, hoping that uh, Truancy would press something. Oh, went into flight mode there to keep himself safe with Truancy. Pops that X back before he drops the combo, but gets another one anyway. Truancy from the other side. Great evasiveness by Truancy. Gets the dash under light and gets the confirm. Yeah, I'm looking for uh, Aces to be able to deal with it, but Spider Man might have some tools here. I mean, Spider Man definitely has the mobility, can get away from Nemesis. One thing is the damage. You're going to need a few resets on top of that, but I'm sure Aces has something for that if he can get the confirm. Especially because Nemesis doesn't have any kind of air dash or invincible air super. He might be able to get some air throws. No, he's not going to get anything here. Oh my goodness, get punched to the wall. He's got a bag of fists, that's it. Ross under arrows, can't quite get anything off of it. Aces' defense holds up. Ace is looking a little bit too defensive now, though, honestly. And that might be what's costing him. Great chaotic flame to punish. Doesn't mean too much to Nemesis, though. He's got a lot of help. Oh, no. Super Ding not come out. And then just like that, caught Ace's back dash with the crouching low. Yeah, frame trap on frame trap. I think he was trying to uh, trying to push block there, possibly, in the corner. Looking for the throw, but great button by Aces after jumping. Aces tournament life is basically riding all on Iron Man. 
That is unfortunate. You never want to put all your chips on Iron Man. Keeps it mirrorless as well. You got to say, Truancy has very good preemptive buttons in the air. All right, here comes Dormammu, though. And the level three. Are no you way. kidding me? Which one? Oh. oh. But you knew. Aces is also hitting the level three. There. I thought Aces might have done Chaotic Flame, which might have lost there. Good attempt from True and see the style on him, but uh, that could end up costing him. Oh, Flame Carpet almost hits there. Stan Light gets the confirm, but can't get the air finish. Wow, adjustments. Well, he used that Dark Hole and came down with the button. All right, he's going to get hit out. No, he was able to just jump. Not having the air dash. All right, but Truancy has the X Factor on his Wesker. Oh, it doesn't matter. Aces is going to be able to level three here and kill a lot of this X Factor time. He might be alive still, even with the follow up of Pillar. Yeah, no, he's definitely alive. Pixel health, though. Very little X Factor left. Oh, no, he's. I didn't know he had built up all those spells. Now it's kind of, kind of aces his game here. Oh, oh my wow. Goodness. Truancy. The guts to go up there and get a command throw when the game is on the line. I was actually watching. Oh, I'll talk about it later. All right. So Flocker, instead of going to zero, often for the Trish this time, but dropping zero for Trish actually works out in Flocker's favor because now it gives him Dormammu instead of Tron as a second character. You wanted to opt for the neutral in the air where Shuma can not attack. Shuma still has those rays, though. Oh, my goodness. The great back dash. Perfect spacing for Salute. You to step back there and push the button. Yeah, it'd be like that. We're going back to zero. <laughs> oh, I was able to actually get behind them this time. I don't want to say he has enough. He got enough. He got enough. You better believe. Oh, no, he didn't have enough. I thought he had an assist, though, but it's all right. He gets the throw reset anyway, so it's easy, easy for him. Gotta love that throw. It takes health. It's like, you know, let me get that, too. Oh, just the same side button there. It hits Arthur. And this is looking too easy for Salute right now. Even with the drop. Stalking player set up right here. Gonna get a teleport after this. Smart thinking by Flocker. Good punish on that super. Yeah, but the good thing is Flocka was forced to X-Factor before the level 3, so he can't get anything after it. Salute just has to run away here, wait out this X-Factor, wait for a good opportunity. He's got his whole team, he's got X-Factor, nothing to give up here. And there he goes, he found the perfect window for the Tri-Dash. Oh, it doesn't complete the combo, but it really doesn't matter at this point, right? Should be enough to chip. Oh, not like this. I mean... I don't want to say it's impossible. Okay, it's impossible. It's impossible. <laughs> I love you putting hope, but I'm like, Arthur has barely half a bar and a half, 10% health. Yeah, I don't see that. All right. You put Flocker in a character crisis. <laughs> you know what we might do for the next ratio tournament? We might allow random all. What do you think about that? So instead of, okay, you do ratio slash random all tournament? Yeah, so you can just choose random all if you don't want to. And if you get a top tier team, you get a top tier team. I, I kind of like that, you know? It's very slick, okay. I think it would be more fun. So I think what Colossus was saying, you need an assist to bust her off of uh, Shuma correctly. He's going to have to do basic ABC combos here. He can't do any Buster or Lightning. Oh, there we go. Shima top tier? Zero low tier? Is that what we're saying? In this matchup without assists, let's go. And Lightning catches, but can't finish with the Buster. All right, but Flocker is dominating this neutral right now. So he's not been able to get any damage out until this Chaotic Flame BHC. Oh, now it's time for Sogemu, though. You can combo this character. Just can't get hit in this situation now. It's a good situation. You got Shuma at low health right here, and that just turned into a bad one. Oh, my goodness. The height was a little bit too much. Doesn't matter. Gets it again, though. Did you see that? It was a great challenge. Most of the time, Zeros can get away with that down teleport just based off the assist calls. 
absolutely knew exactly where to push the button, though. And these backdashes by Salute with Shuma. Oh, no, the one time that he did it in the assist was out. He got punished for it. Oh, that hit for crit. The arrow, the daggers definitely hit Shuma in the eye. He got poked in the eye that big. <laughs> He's definitely blind now. Oh, it's a raccoon trap. That's definitely going to be very hard for Tron. You can't box dash in the air because Pendulum will crack you out of the air for sure. And then you burrow back to reset the neutral. Hard tag does get punished. But the trap was there. Flocker had forgotten. All up to Arthur again. Five meters, though. You hit the floor, you're going to level three. We have an X-Factor following up after that. Try to mix up. Right, so he's just trying to stay out of the range there. Arthur not able to convert this time off of that throw. He definitely can, though. Oh, my goodness. Falling down to the ground, you're exploded. When you're having to play a character you're not familiar with, it's one of those things where you don't have time to keep track of the spells that uh, Dormammu has built up. And on top of that, you're playing a character that can't air dash. He has no mobility. It's very hard for him to get in. You're just fighting for your life at this point. You ain't got time for spell count. <laughs> <laughs> Teleport gets a punish properly. Salute up 2-0 on Flocker. What do you think? You think it runs back with the, um, the zero? Uh, I don't know. Zero definitely uh, was working out in the beginning there. But after zero was lost, Tron definitely didn't do anything. I know Zero is extremely strong for Flocker, but I would have liked to seen Hawkeye. I think Hawkeye is his moneymaker when it comes down to this stuff. Especially with Hawkeye being a three-point character, it's definitely worth putting Hawkeye on the team over Zero. And the eyeball pops to kill Zero. Good H on the way down. Drill, but can't get anything out of it. So we're just playing this correctly. Just, you know, reset the neutral anytime he can to get under, not get pinned in the corner. Wow, the fake out with that S. Yeah, so it's been doing a good job avoiding the daggers assist now so ever since he got hit by the last one. Oh, back dash out, Tremble gets out. We have forward H, gets the confirm off Dark Hole in business here, has enough to take care of Tron here because you know this team does ridiculous damage. Yeah, you, that's something you never expect from Shuma, right? But Salute has figured out the fact to make this work. It only took like 10 years, and Angelic and Salute. Right. It's the free hard tag, level three. We press the button, gets the punish on Salute. Yeah, able to kill Shuma here. Still has X-Factor on deck, so a comeback is definitely more than possible here. Oh, and Salute tried to hop behind it, wasn't able to. Flocker still catches him. Oh, my God. The confirmed air off of Spitfire from Salute. But the drop again. It's these little body characters. You're fighting characters like Arthur, Shuma, Tron, and they just have weird hitboxes. X-Factor try to punish the hard tag, but can't quite do it. And Salute does it with the teleport back to get Flocker. Three to zero now for Salute. Salute's going to be moving on to loser semifinals. Wonderland. Double Terminator definitely playing a very front loaded team here. Alright, just letting it rock. Unfortunately, Slotham just eats daggers from Arthur. Little Terminator able to confirm off of that. Three meters left. Does he have enough for a kill? It's the toxin in the corner. You definitely have enough meter here. I don't know. Hagger's a big boy. Yeah, looking for the hard tag. I think he was doubting his ability to kill there, even with the Akuma Super. Oh, the Sentinel drops out, unfortunately, and Sentinel paying off big bucks again for Slotham. We saw. Six we saw Sentinel do so much work for Sloth in the previous sets. I love it. X Factor keeps it simple, takes care of one of the neutral assists. Oh, 
very easy kill here against Hagar. Hagar just came in holding up back, I guess. But Akuma level three X Factor can take over this game if you let him. Yeah, it's a little bit tougher against Hagar though, as Akuma just eats pipe. Oh, but a huge drop from Slotham. Once again. Have a chip here. Yeah, from there having quite a bit of chance here. He could get chipped out. He shouldn't. Oh, he's Wow, what planking to get across. I mean, you got to say, Slothan did choose this point, win the hard tag correctly, but Terminator was right on top of that for the air throw. Uh, all right, another chip out kill here. No more X Factor for Terminator. But still a huge opportunity. He's going to be able to build up enough here just to get the kill. Possibly? No. Went for a reset. Oh, and the fireball, last second saves his life. Slotham with four meters. Terminator cannot just super anytime he wants. There he goes. That's a perfect time for it. And uses the correct fireballs to make sure he's safe. Can you, oh, I was going to say, could you TK uh, oh, hard drive? Yeah. One more fireball. Slotham just had to eat it. Terminator with the great Akuma comeback there. I didn't think it was going to happen, but Slotham just dropped Akuma one time. Slotham opens him up with the pipe to start the match. Once again, just letting them live. I like to plank back to get under the drones, not put yourself in a bad situation. Yeah. Slotham knowing he can't kill with one hit, he's just kind of backing off and replaying neutral, knowing that he can outplay him in the neutral in this matchup here. I would, I would like to see if Slotham entertains the idea. If he gets the hit on uh, Arthur, you snap a tumor. Quite possibly, especially after that first game there where Akuma basically carried the entire team by himself. Now you don't have to. Brought him in. Drones does connect. Uh, I would like to see you get the kill here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, almost messed that combo up. Recognized that knew that TAC was the best chance he had. Looking good for Slotham here. Took care of uh, Hagar Akuma all up to Arthur. Oh, oh. my goodness. Slotham read the double jump there. Hit him with the air hoodlum launcher. With three meters, he should be able to kill very easily here. So big shots to Shazam coming through, subbing four months now. Thank you so much. Slotham takes one finally. No comebacks this time for Terminator. Yeah, I definitely feel like in the Hagar versus Hagar matchup, Slotham seems to be a little bit more experienced with Hagar. Terminator obviously has shown that he can play many characters, but uh, I mean, I like the situation by Slotham there. You know, you put the drones out, you follow correctly with Hagar, you put him in a bad situation, and then you put buttons on him. Not overextending himself in the neutral without an assist call, and that's safe. All right, looks like Slotham's taking a moment there. Back into it though. Oh, and an air throw to open up for level Terminator. Not able to confirm though. Tatsu pushes him too far back, but it's okay. Drones. Looks like he had a push block right there. Oh my goodness. The reset. The reset worked out perfectly, but he wasn't able to convert after the reset. Dropped him. Now Terminator lands a hit with a Lariat. Gonna take care of Slot for Tagar. Only enough room for one of us. Arthur in, armor on. Hard drive across the screen. Oh, press the button on the way down, but so small, kind of flipped out. All right, Arthur's going to eat a ton of damage there. Oh, again, going to lose Arthur. Oh, my goodness. It took another rocket punch, but it paid off for him big. The hard tag actually hits Hagar. Terminator wasn't ready. Almost. Good attempt there with the drones. Just couldn't quite get full screen. DP into Akuma. What a punish with the raw ass afterwards. And the single tentacle extension there. Going to be more than enough for Akuma. And Hagar's coming out with no health against the full health nemesis and Sentinel. He's not going to be able to do much here. The chip's going to be a factor, but just oh, like that. He's going to be able that. to do a whole bunch here. What am I talking about? Snapback? Not sure if I agree with that, but let's see if it works out. It's kind of hard because you're gonna. It's gonna be hard to kill off one touch with Hagar against Sam. Oh, he tried to chip him out with the laser, but Terminator just slapped him across the mouth. Start the combo pipe. Definitely helps. You're gonna DHC out. 
Oh no, that's actually going to kill Terminator. If he, if he had waited just a little bit longer, he could have supered through the last set of drones and then possibly hit Nemesis out, but... I don't know, that has hyper armor on it, doesn't Nemesis it? Nemesis is so invincible throughout all of that uh, until the very end. I think you can throw him and that's about it. Terminator might go to a character select. It's okay, we're gonna stick in it. Yeah, Terminator knows he's still on winner's side. Even if he loses this one, he can he can possibly get the run back later. So we'll see. Looks like Sloth and taking a second, kind of going over what just happened. Maybe make some slight adjustments. Fight! Yeah. Come on. Oh my goodness! The pipe opens up two characters. Yeah, you gotta take care of Hagar for free or at least Arthur. Yeah, he kills Har he kills Arthur easy there. Hagar's still alive, very little health though. Level Terminator just coming in with a pipe. It looks like he wanted to save his resources just in case he could Oh, did you free. see oh my that? God. The last second falling S there, and now Puma has to deal with Hagar. This is an easy game for him to him. That block is so Fast. Fastest game of the night. Still 80 seconds left on the clock. Still want a piece of this? Bone Wonderland. All right, Tentacle versus Tentacle here. Oh, Tremble to get in. Full screen. Great hit for Salute to start this out. Yeah, we've seen Salute kind of run over some Nemesis players earlier. Until, oh. he got, until he got the slot, of course. <laughs> All right, block on the super here. Salute not going to do anything crazy. Just let him DAC be safe about it. Oh, just goes right over. Gets the confirmer. Did be able to take care of Shuma. Has the meter. Oh, no, but Dia, Dia's backwards a little bit and falls out. Yeah, that's one thing a lot of people don't realize that exists in this game, is there is DI in this game. You can, if you super jump, hold forward or hold back. And you'll go a little bit further forward, a little bit further back. So. You get the triple mix up, jump, H, and the light tremble, but blocks stay true for truancy. Sucking the soul out of this man here, able to get the kill on Taskmaster. That was a couple of times Shuancy could have killed Shuma, but just didn't work out for him. And oh my that goodness, the sick same side mix up there. With all this meter built up, obviously death is an inevitability here. And with the stalking player, goes right up, sets up the next incoming mix up. And with Mad Hopper, the layers here. Yeah, he set up those traps like it was a turn-based strategy game, man. <laughs> Salute looking very good here in first game. Truancy had an opportunity early on, but just too many drops. Oh, we, we're trying to remember some He goes, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Truancy hitting us up with the Remora. We sure this isn't Remora. Oh, uh, try to use the armor there, but Nemesis armor not fast enough to deal with these multi-hitting moves. Oh, good tech right there by both players, but just like that, Salute has a contingency plan right after the tech of the bottom. Enough to take care of Nemi here. He's gonna be gone. Medium incoming, but can't quite get it. Truancy's right on top of it, the air throw. X-Factors, but can't pick it up. Yeah, very sad for Truancy there. That X-Factor confirm is not easy to do with Taskmaster. Oh, the arrows hit, they do, and they take out a lot of Raccoon's health as well. Oh, and it still picks up from Wesker. Truancy looked like he was gonna lose there, but he's kinda back in it. And the chips from the gunshots, too. All of the Dormammu here, fully loaded, five meters, X-Factor three on deck. 
great air throw there to slow down Dormammu. Not enough to kill, but still enough to take up a lot of X-Factor time, put himself in good position. I don't know. I think level three would have been a good idea to go and take a lot of that uh, X-Factor time. Yeah, but also Salute would have recovered a lot of that life there, so better to save it for a situation like this. Fair. It worked out. Truants again on the board, tying it up 1-1 one, one here. Good answer back in this game, too. Yeah, like I said, Truancy definitely wasn't out of it in game one in the beginning. Just he lets Shuma live, live a couple too many times. Man, I cannot believe how Salute gets these combos off the of tremble from Super Jump height. It just kills you off of it, basically, even with the scaling. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a person who's done a lot of math here. That was exactly the kind of damage they could get on every hit. They're going for the snap back here. Same side on Raccoon. Or I think that's the same side. That's how you know it's a good mix-up. You don't even know yourself, man. Oh, but the rocket drops. misses. The hitbox on the backside hit. Oh, my goodness. Raccoon tried to hit it from the back, but he's the one that got hit instead. Yeah, the claim. Oh, good use of the missile to prevent any chip taken. Can't do it this time. Oh, wow, it beats out Chaotic Flame. Yeah, the rocket was basically on top of him when Chaotic Flame came out. Good cross up with the Gamma Ray on top of that. We're going to pop an X here. Take care of this Taskmaster. All up to Wesker here for Truancy. Super on incoming, it's going to get hit. Did you see the relaunch on that, though? All right, all down to Schumer for Salute. Truancy still with a lot of X-Factor time and left, getting almost chipped out here, and he does. Gunshots too much, especially at that speed of X-Factor. Truancy with the lead here. Schumer, I mean, Salute is actually facing elimination here. We've seen a lot of Nemesis here in, uh, in top eight. Nemesis might have to go up to three points here. Oh, got the happy birthday for Salute, but Tass does drop out, though. Gonna go for a mix-up, just like that. Trincy with a throw, but misses the super, it looked like. Yeah, I don't know if he was going for the super or some kind of other confirm. He went for TK Rocket. Ah. Super definitely does hit here. Goes into the Chaotic. No, he actually does not go for Chaotic Flame. But for the hard tag, you know, Nemesis doesn't have a lot of life to give, so I definitely like that idea. I did like that idea. And Taskmaster running out of health, too. Really doing the right thing here, just backing off. That's okay. Even if it doesn't hit, he's in good position here. Oh my goodness, that could have gone very poorly. Very close, but good button placement. Tail end of the super and awareness. Oh my goodness, almost got the confirm off of the Spitfire. Sorry, the Chaotic Flame takes care of him in Spidey's swing. Wesker is the only one left here for Truancy, but he does have X-Factor 3. Just wait for the right opportunity. Oh, great mix-ups here, but even better block. Truancy runs right into the flame carpet. Oh, once again, Truancy not afraid to use that command throw. Oh, but the drop afterwards, and that throw should be the... Yeah, it's definitely going to be the closer here. With level three on deck. That's rough, man. Truancy got a little too fancy with the teleports afterwards. Miss input Samurai's edge. I don't know if he meant to teleport extra. I don't know if he was trying to style or if that was just the miss input. Could have gone either way, right? Yeah, you're definitely right. Tied up 2-2 two, two right here. Truancy going to the character select screen. What's he going to switch to now? He's been doing pretty good with his team already. Nemesis has been paying off big time for him. He's going to stay true to the same team. Just, you know, opting for some diff different costumes here, you know, or just taking a second to kind of reevaluate that last game.
Alright, Truancy starting the match, backing off a little bit. That was a good attempt for that command air throw. Oh, that was the hardest of read attempts there. Oh, and the S gets punished. Big whiff S from Salute. Losing Shuma here this early could be trouble. Gonna have to spin the meter, worth it. The Shuma is such a problem for Truancy in these games. Yeah, Truancy hesitated a little bit on using that meter, but at the last second thought it was for the best and it was a, it was a good call. Oh, here we go. This is Salute's opportunity here. He's gotta make a difference with this. That's the spells charge. That's something to look for right here. Double teleport. Oh my goodness, in the dark dimension off the meteors. Smart thinking by Salute here. Gonna be a reward to kill for it. Salute's teleport with Dormammu are out of this world. No! Good adjustment, you had to. Yeah, you can't take that risk. What a mix up there. Hit him on every side. Not quite enough. But you had the spells locked up for the chips. Smart thinking on yeah, top of it. This mix up here, that is everything. Cash is out here, putting Wesker to a close to Pixel. Okay, okay, which side though? Oh, it ended up crossing him up because the hit stun from the first hit. Oh, what an air throw right on top of it. Truancy fighting back all up to Rocket now. Rocket has no X Factor, but he can kill on one touch here. Okay, had to hold that. So much X Factor left for Truancy. Truancy just mashing those buttons there. Oh, command throw. Truancy. Coming through clutch here at the very last second, you know, uncomfortable with the team that they're playing, right? Because it might be a slightly different team than the normal team. Hagar are making second guessing things. Oh, four tentacles connect, but can't finish off the wall bounce. Oh my goodness, Truancy not second guessing anything right now. They know what they want to do. Oh, went for the hard read, and Terminator just had the buttons coming out of incoming. Yeah, getting this happy birthday here, but unfortunately, not able to keep both, and not gonna be able to kill either. It was like he divided the damage between both characters, basically. <laughs> oh, almost had to confirm with the standing jab there, didn't believe in it. Okay, no, no, no reason to take that risk. Big damage to Nemesis, Nemesis is down, Taskmaster basically dead. Ooh, Legion arrow down, doesn't get anything. Good hits there, opting and gets the hit and gets the kill. Yeah, great daggers there. Oh, daggers once again, but not enough hit stun to make a difference here. Did you see that by Truancy? Falling down light, snaps for Arthur. I don't know, I don't know what we're looking for there. I think Akuma was the way to go. All right, pops the X Factor here, Terminator, but didn't really have a plan afterwards other than more daggers. Gonna have to pop X Factor here. It's getting close. There it is. Oh, and that's a huge opportunity there for Terminator. Able to take advantage. I know charge. I guess he must have thought that had to be an error. Yeah, I don't know if he meant the counter super there. Big pipe still able to convert? No, didn't have the assist for it. Oh, Legion arrow to keep it safe. Smart thinking, because he could have get thrown or hit after that super. All right, we see a hard tag from the little Terminator here. A second hard tag, this time into Akuma. Oh, tries to demon flip. Taskmaster's not having any of that with shield skills out. And the dash under, but not able to convert. Great air to air, confirmed by Truancy there. Gets the kill on Akuma. Side switch on Hagger. Should be able to get the kill here, keeping it simple. Not keeping it simple. Yeah, should have kept it a little bit more simple here. That might cost him the match. That's a good switch out, but it's gonna take a lot of health off Nemesis. Oh, right off the assist call, gets the confirm. Gonna go for the hair reset tech oh, forward. Went for the double jump. Terminator got baited out there. Oh, the drop combo gets punished. 
Oh, if he would have had the TK missile, could have got that. And then, but just like that, the cross up S gets the confirm. Those uh, TAC gets the kill. All right, just pixel health arc to the left. Forces the X Factor right here. Oh, actually able to get out of the corner with the double jump. Oh, but does not convert. Sword not long enough. Sometimes the size does matter, but oh, the backside of jump light. Hey, he hit him with the backside of jump light there. That's crazy. That stuff happens. You remember when Doom can hit you with the backside of his shoulder light? You're telling me he still can't? He can still do that. <laughs> All right, big change here from Terminator, putting Spencer on the team. I guess I, I'm gonna say I like the Spencer change here. I mean, you're gonna be a lot, you're gonna be a little bit more aggressive. You have the damage. You can do what you need to do in this game. Oh, that would have been a huge win here if he could have converted off that jump. Hey, Spencer's already taken a lot of damage, though. We could be looking at a Nemesis Grand Finals here, and unfortunately, Phoenix Wright not able to get out of that throw reset. Not able to convert for full damage because of drones, but still has a super. Absolutely, and you're getting Spencer in a little bit more, get some rid of some of that red health. You're set up very well here. Oh, and the, oh my goodness, the launcher slam. Pretty cheap. Oh, just jumps, air throw right away. Crouch M, you got an X Factor here. Taking care of Wesker is a priority. Falling down, didn't believe it. Gets the air to air confirm. Enough smart stuff here by Truancy. Yeah, looks like this character switch doesn't really help Terminator out at all. Spencer and Phoenix Wright really didn't get to play too much. Oh, almost didn't get to play again. You know, it's not like you see a lot of the armor actually winning out today for Nemesis. That's very rare. Oh, the unblockable setup. Let's go, Missile. Double ADK, saves all the meter. Cross up, gets the block, got the happy birthday. We have an X Factor. Truancy has definitely shown that they're not afraid to push buttons here. Fell out at the last second, and the Bionic Arm is going to get the kill here for Terminator. Yeah, Truancy was hoping that Wesker Super would be able to pick up Spencer, but. Hits the same side on the mix-up. Cross back over. Just in case you forgot how unforgiving this game is, one hit, one drop made all the difference here. And the last hit from the dog. Imagine losing to a dog, bro. <laughs> it happens with Amy a lot. Amy's a goddess. That, that doesn't count. The sun god, yeah, you're right. Ready? Fight! Oh, great air throw there by Truancy. Can't get anything with the follow-up of the drones on the backside, though. Oh, it's going to be able to follow up with the uh, Wesker assist there. No problem. And Bomber to avoid the throw reset. Smart stuff there from Terminator. He's got to be careful, though. Truancy might pick up on that. Luckily, this is off an of air throw. The scaling is heavy, but went for the unblockable again, and that's full scaling now. are definitely making all the difference now in this game in the last one. And another 80k, you didn't have enough. Oh, Spencer six. Cross up, gets a side switch on top of that. Liberal Terminator showing he knows the character very well. I can't believe somebody in the chat said they wanted Spencer to be a four. Goodness gracious. Unblockable setup again works out perfectly. 
That's so cheap. There's not really much Truancy can do in that situation, unfortunately. They're falling into it, yeah. Even if you X, what do you do? You still have to fall down. If you've got an air super, maybe. Oh, on top of that, baited out the teleport, was ready on the throw. See someone asking, uh, yeah, why is that an unblockable? Yeah, missile is uh, Phoenix Wright's assist. Does hit low. Full screen low. Oh, Over that command throw once again from Truancy. That command throw has paid dividends for him so far. The falling down button by Phoenix Wright gets the hit. Phoenix Wright to win the game? Oh, and the last set of drums finishes it off. Yeah, level Terminator was coming in. Doom does well against Nemesis, and I think it's 5-5 in like, Sentinel's favor. Sentinel him, depends on the neutral. Yeah, this is a strategy we don't see quite often. Uh, sometimes players will bet a big, uh, big amount on a, on a top tier character like Zero or Morrigan, and then pick two lower tier characters. But Doom? Possibly could be looking for the hit, those TACs. All right, we're going to see a Lariat here for sure. No, actually, Slotsman was not able to Lariat. He must have already had a special out. I like the zoning right now, just kind of keeping it slow, making Slotsman work for it. Yeah, Doom with Dagger's Assist is definitely not a bad team comp at all. It blows Sentinel up. You can't get drones. You can't approach. What an air throw here by Terminator. What a pipe by Slotsman. And he didn't even bother the OTG him. He just went for the command throw. What a flex. I like this X Factor. Get some of that health back for both your characters. He took a lot of damage in the early sequences. And the side switch, possibly, with the Violent Axe. Uh, that Super's going straight down, though. For as much chip as you can get here. Yeah, that Super from Arthur actually doesn't do a ton of chip if you push block it properly. His regular projectiles actually do more chip. Uh, like the shadows. Yeah. All right, Slotham continuously trying to land this neutral jump H. He's not been able to convert off of Arthur's small body. Oh, great throw, but the dagger's saved. Oh, S. All right, Terminator just down to Arthur here. This time, no X Factor, though. No pants either. What a command throw there by Slotham. Has all the meter to take care of Arthur now. Easy first game for Slotham there. Slightly rocky start, especially when Doom got involved. But honestly, that one command throw on Doom, man. That was, uh, that was definitely a, uh, a mental energy drain. Yeah. Think, uh, Terminator was like, ah, oh, this ain't gonna work. And especially, yeah, we had that drop on the Doom uh, throw earlier, and that's what led to that situation. I wonder what could have happened if we confirmed that Doom throw. All right, Terminator going back to the Spencer Phoenix, right? Gonna do his best Aeonian impersonation here. Slotham taking a little moment, though. Yeah, it might be a little different, though. If you do get the first hit, you go for the unblockable. Can't you mash Lariat, though? So, like, if you get set up in the unblockable, you call Missile. It's, it's very strict timing, but, yeah, I mean, you definitely can try to get Lariat out. Drones saving Spencer there in that situation. Both players with drones on the team. I think you spend whatever you have to take care of Spencer here. Yeah, with two meters though, he should be able to get a kill. Oh no, that's not actually gonna do enough damage. Oh, it is? No. no. Yeah. Pixel arm DHC out. And that pixel health Spencer just may be the difference maker. Two for three on evidence here though. One hit, you get turnabout mode. Great air throw here. Has the has the evidence. Can't do it now. Yeah, but now you've got to land this ever so important hit. Yeah, 
Phoenix Wright's gone. It's more than enough. Now Spencer coming through. This is a crucial hit on this incoming as well. Yeah, I feel like if Spencer goes down, this game is over. Spencer gets hit by the Violent Axe on incoming, able to escape out, but gets air thrown afterwards. And Spencer gone. Oh, and the pipe on the way down with the drone follow-up. Yeah, that was like a fadeaway pipe right there, man. <laughs> Slotham making it look easy right now. He said, I don't care what team you pick. Up two to zero. Terminator hops right back in. Wants to keep the team comp. All right. Slotham taking his time as usual. You know, it's re as long as it's within a reasonable amount of time, we're not going to complain. You know what I mean? If it's 15, 20 seconds, no big deal. Uh, I think reasonably most tournaments give you about 30 seconds after every match anyway, so. Go for broke. Fight. Spencer going up swinging, trying to take care of Hagar early. Oh, but the drop there, Missile does clear it though. Oh, and a great Lariat to stop that zip there. And the pipe paying off again. Is he going to X? No. He said, I know exactly what you're going to do at all times. I don't need to waste my resources on you. Oh, and another. Everything working out perfectly for Slotham. Slotham knows everything Terminator is going to do. Who's really from the future, huh? <laughs> All of the Sentinel here. X Factor, four meters, hard drives out of the corner. Does hit Sentinel, gets a little bit of damage there. That's going to help. Anything does at this point. Yeah, but Sentinel's definitely a character that can make comebacks. Anybody can do it. Oh, no comebacks this time around. Leg dropping the X Factor. This is all over. I like it. Kept it simple. Has the meter. That, no. actually, that actually makes it more challenging, honestly. Really? He yeah, he could have just uh, Magic Series again and Team Super. He just did it to flex. Flexing out here. Slot.